Now this is the stock 1982 Fleetwood. I don't know what kind, what brand it is, but it's the stock power converter that came with these back in the day. It's bouncing all over the place. 6.7 amps. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am your host, the most famous YouTuber in the world that no one has ever heard of. Okay, we're back on the lithium upgrade. Okay, so this has been sitting for a month waiting for this to boot up. I want to see if this is still at 100%. Then we're going to throw it in the camper and find out what happens. See, power bank. If you can see that or not. If you can't, I'm going to read it to you. Nope, that's not what I wanted to do. Bluetooth. I'm guessing it's that one. Sometimes two of them come up. It's weird. We're at 100%. We're at 13.3 volts. Zero amps moving. 100 amp capacity. 20 degrees communist temperature. 21 communist temperature. And I don't know. I guess it's been 18. Is that a history? I don't know. I don't know. But anyway, we're at 100% still. Let's put it in the put it in the camper. We finally have a nice day. Okay. In my camper, the main battery is here. There's also one under the hood. So we're gonna find out. This is a terrible, terrible setup. Because there's no way to hold the flap open. Maybe. Okay, so here's our group 24. So one of these on the positive goes to the battery up front. That's loose, that's nice. That looks like it goes... I don't know, we're just gonna have to start taking wires off and taking readings. All right, this is gonna be a slow process. But I will see what I can do to speed it up for you in editing. I'm gonna unhook the front battery and I'm gonna unplug the charger and make sure that we got no electricals anywhere on this and just do the wires one by one. What a mess. I'll tell you, if you're looking for a Nikon camera, don't get this one, this P500. Every time I go to use it, the battery's dead. So we've got this itty bitty tiny wire up here. Thank you, Grandpa, Grandfather. Two of them. I have absolutely no idea what this one goes to, except it turns into telephone wire from there and goes in. So this looks like it used to be yellow, maybe. I've got this disconnected. I'm going to pull this out. This one just goes right to the body. We're going to we're going to isolate this. I don't know what this is supposed to be. The wires down here going to something on the frame. But I know this battery's coming out and I'm going to isolate this wire in the back so that we don't have any accidents. It is never quiet here. I've got all my batteries out. I mean, I've got the battery, the battery out. All my positive wires labeled and stuck up there. All my negatives are labeled. Hopefully, so the next person or me, five minutes from now, won't get confused. Let's throw the new battery in. Looks like it fits. A little better. It's not easy doing this around the camera. Hopefully you can see that. I'm going to turn on the converter next. Let's see what happens. Now the RV converter is on. Okay, it's going to 3.7 amps. This is better. Okay, now it's pulling. Oh, it just went to 8 and pulled back down to 3.7. Just as my hand went in front of it. Seven amps. Five. Now this is the stock. 1982 
Fleetwood. I don't know what kind, what brand it is, but it's the stock power converter that came with these back in the day. It's bouncing all over the place. 6.7 amps. 4.4. I don't know if I can't see the screen well enough to read it. So hopefully you're you're looking right here. It's the question in everybody's mind: Is it going to fry? Is that battery going to fry my camper? We're still at 21, 21, 18, and 18, whatever that means. Okay, I'm going to try the generator again. See what happens. Well then, 99.2%, still got 13 volts, 99.2%, generator still won't start. There we go. 58 amps it drew, huh? Wow. Not charging. Okay, so my generator does not charge the battery. I'm going to let it run for a minute anyway. So right now the only way I have of charging this battery is the original converter that came with the camper. So we're going to be doing some upgrades at some point because that is unacceptable. It should charge off the, the driving motor and it should charge off the generator I would think. Okay, what's interesting here is we're at 99.8 percent. Hopefully that's in focus because I, I can't tell. Uh, it's zero amps, and then it'll bump up to 2.7. Then it'll go back to zero. Two amps. Zero amps. So I don't know what the the BMS in that battery is doing, but it's bouncing between two and zero. Now it looks like we're 0.2% from full. My question is, can we leave this unattended, or do I have to turn the, the battery charger off when it's done? And it's starting to look like we're at zero amps again. It's starting to look like you just let it do its thing. Two amps. Now when this gets to 100%, I'm assuming that the current's going to go to zero and stay there. This app is the reason that I chose this particular battery over another another brand. I wanted to be able to see what it was doing. And I wanted to be able to show you guys too because you're, uh, I, I can't be the only one that has questions. We're still at zero. So either we burned out the converter or the BMS is shut down. Will it even get to 100? That's the question. Will it even get to 100? Come on. They say it won't. Because you need an AGM charger or a lithium charger. In the last video we showed that it, I got it to 100% with the AGM charger. But maybe that's it. Maybe 99.8 is all it's going to go. We'll check back in a little while. but It's looking like that's where it's going to st stop and uh, it's just going to sit there. Which is fine. I mean, 99 amps is a hell of a lot better than the 40 I was getting out of those other two batteries combined. 